Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be treating the part two of population genetics. And I'll be emphasizing more on how the web principles, its application, and various applications in the world. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel and press the like button so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. It, like I said in my previous class, had the Webeck principle actually this or it states that the in a random mating population that is actually large, the allele frequency as well as the genetic frequency will remain constant from one generation to another, provided there is absence or there is no evolutionary forces or destructive or the forces that is acting on this population. And we know that the Hadiwebeck equation is represented mathematically as P, which is actually the dominant allele, Q, recessive allele, P plus Q, that is the frequency, F, frequency of P and the frequency of Q, F, frequency of P plus frequency of Q is equal to 1. So please take note of that. If you add the two frequencies together, you have one as your answer. And it still goes, if you add the genotype frequency of the character, the genotype frequency of also the character of the recessive character, as well as the two times that of the heterozygous frequency you have got one as your answer. We will talk details about this when we are talking about it. What is the um, algorithm? What is it used for? It's actually used to estimate the frequency of the allele and genotype of in a population. Let's assume, let's deal with the particular character of the blood groups. Right? Let's assume we talk about this character. This allele is actually for fat. And this is for slim. This is for slim. So let's talk about this. This will be represented by what P, and this will be represented by what Q. And from the equation, the frequency of this plus the frequency of this is equal to 1. Let's assume that the gene for being fat is B and dominant. Then there will be P, and the gene for being slim. And which is successive is greater with Q. We can just leave the value for the dominant uh, frequency for the dominant uh, uh, allele at 0.5. Then you can ask the question to calculate for the that is successive. But before I um, continue with the calculation aspect, which is actually this with the application, I would like you to try your hand on some of these evolutionary influences. There are so many of them. We have the mutation, gene flow, and so many. You can lay your hands on like 10 of these and explain in details. Request for my, if you want to participate in the challenge, request for my uh, mail in, on the comment section and you will be replied. I'll send you my mail, then you send me the answers and I can make correction where necessary. Okay? Now, let's assume that the B. The gene for B is dominant and this for slim is recessive. And the frequency of the dominant and the frequency for the dominant is 0.5. And you are asked to calculate for that of the recessive. In a population of a total of 10,000, you can be asked to calculate for this one as well as calculate for what the genotype frequency, for example, PP. Genotype frequency, that is the homozygous dominant genotype frequency, heterozygous dominant. Uh, Genotype frequency and genotype frequency for the recessive. How do we go about it? Let's start. So, to get for Q, since you already have a P, you use the, this equation P plus Q is equal to what? 1. So, P plus Q is equal to 1. And since the value of P is 0 0.5 plus Q is equal to 1, you can now take this value across and it becomes 1 minus 1, 0 0.5. And our final answer is what? Q is equal to what? 0 or 2.5. If you are asked to calculate for the genotype frequency for BB, 
you know that this P, so BB is actually of P squared, which is represented in this algebraic equation. So P squared, which is actually BB, is zero. Since B is B is zero point four five or P zero point five, P squared is actually zero point five squared. When you square it, you have your answer as zero point four two five. If you are asked about the frequency of the heterozygous fat individual, again. Is what PQ, which is 0 0.5 times what 0 0.45, and you we'll still have the same value. And if you are asked to calculate for the genotype frequency of the recessive homozygous male individual, Q is what 0 0.5 and Q squared is 0 0.5 squared, and you have that. Remember, in the algebraic principle, you have this value there times what 2 to get, so you can just put times 2 here and you have what 0 0.5 as a final answer. Alright? Now, the next thing is this. If you ask to calculate, you know that the total population, as I said earlier, is 100,000. And you are now asked to calculate the number of individuals that has this genotype. Number of individuals that have this genotype and number of individuals that have this genotype. It's simple. Since you have the genotype for the homozygote for the homozygous dominant trait, and the value here is what? 0 0.45 number of individual we give you is p square, which is the genotype frequency times what the total what population. Remember, how do I get this 0 0.25? It's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5 square, and the answer is 0 0.25. So we now have 0 0.25 times what? 100,000, and our final answer is what? 25. Alright? What about if you are not asked to calculate for the number of children that has this trait? Remember from our equation we have this is the heterozygous what? Dominant trait or the heterozygous fat in the drug. So we now have 2PQ times what? Total what? Population. Population. Okay? So in this case, Number is nine point two. This is zero point five. We already have it in our answer here. Zero point five times what? One hundred thousand. And our answer will now be what? Fifty thousand. And do that into calculator. Why the last one number is equal to Q squared times what? Total. Population, total population, which is 0 0.5 squared times what? 100,000. 0 0.25 times 100,000. And our final answer here is actually 25,000. Now, this is a very simple way of getting it. Now, in some cases, you can be given the genotype frequency and ask to calculate for what the allele of frequency. For example, if I give a genotype frequency as 0 0.6 homozygous to individual, genotype frequency for homozygous to individual, p squared, as what? 0 0.6. I cannot ask you to calculate. The allele frequency. Calculate the allele frequency of T. That is capital letter T. And T is small letter T. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking you now calculate the allele frequency. Calculate the allele frequency of T. Capital letter T. And Smaller than C. In this case, I'm giving the genotype frequency of double capital letter P as well as 0 0.6. Please take note. It's very easy. Since you know that P squared, which is the homozygous dominant trait for this, is, is this. How would I get P? P squared is equal to 0 0.6. So to get P, what would I do? Look for the word square root of what both sides. So P 
I'll read from square root of 8. Square root of what? 0 0.16. And this square root also has the so now our answer as p is equal to 0 0.775. So once you have this from that, you can use this formula from this place p plus q equal to 1. You can use the value of the value of q. You can use p plus q equals to 1 to get the value of q. And you can just continue to solve any question. So please lay your hands as, as many questions as you can. And if you have any challenge, please drop or any question, drop it in the comment section. I will reply as fast as I can. And if there is any area that is not clear, also do that. If there is any video you want us to produce regarding any area, also do that. Please remember the assignment. Remember the assignment. Take a look. List at least eight to ten evolutionary world influences that can affect this population and explain it in details to the best of your knowledge. And you can send it to me in my mail. You can request my mail in the comment section. Thank you very much.